Hello guys. So welcome to KO Tutorials. So let's continue with the next part of this tutorial. So let's get started. So as you can see over here, we have almost done with the props modeling over here. So we have few references which will be creating over here. With the props modeling, we'll be also going with some of the uh, game assets over here. So first, let's just complete this correctly over here. So I'll just adjust this. So let's go into file. Let's open up our reference over here. So let's just take up a reference. Okay. So whatever things are just left out, you can just complete that. So I can just go over here. I can go into this view and I can slightly just adjust it correctly. Again, go over here, go into this view. Let's take a line. Let's take a straight line. Go into this rendering enable in viewport and make it as rectangular so you can increase the length and width of it you can just slightly adjust this over here so i can just increase or decrease this push it a bit inside in this way and slightly just push it down again go over here let's take a box over here and I can slightly just push it over here so definitely we are going to texture this all the stuff so also we have one panel for a glass so let's just put this panel let's slightly just scale this over here shuffle this up scale it over here in this way all right slightly just Shuffle it. And let's duplicate it down. So again, shuffle this over here. <coughs> Alright. So this will be a part of a glass. And also this is going to be a part of a glass. So if you want, I can just select this area. I'll just go into the material. So let's go into the material over here. And I'll just go into this and I'll just assign uh, just an architectural, make it a glass clear over here in this way. So the same way select this this again go over here assign the same kind of a material alright now 
let's go over here let's take some other reference so let's go into file view image file I'll just take one more reference over here so let's just take up one reference these are all the props or we can say the game assets for the modeling so let's go over here so let's just take a box over here so whatever detailing we can do we can make over here let's just take a box over here in this way so we can just select this all the things right click and just hide the selection just slightly scale this convert to editable poly select the vertices push this up again keep on putting the edges so select the polygons and slightly give a bit of extrude by local normal slightly just reduce it so again just drag it up drag this up push this up a bit and select this and let's give a bit of bevel by local normal and let's click ok just drag this out so we are going to define this in this way so let's just split this area so how we can split it is like uh, I'm going to just create something over here so again go into this select the polygons and slightly just extrude it again very less let's click ok and if you want I can just split this into two parts and if you have a shop area at the bottom so I can just uh, go into this side section over here or front section so usually we have created this so we will go into the front section over here so what you can do is you can just uh, just off this just go over here like this and close the area so we can just make this over here and let's give an extrude modifier so let's just assign an extrude modifier over here so convert to editable poly so let's just shuffle this over here so select the polygons and if you want you can just select these edges slightly shuffle it up or select this polygons slightly give a bit of inset and extrude a bit inside that's it all right so we can do some uh, changes like this again i'll go over here i'll select these edges and i'll just split it over here in this way let's again go over here we 
can just subdivide this right away. So again, I'll just connect this two over here. I'll just give this stuff like this. Let's click OK. Select this. Let's give the stuff in this way. So we need to just separate this. So we'll just make it one by one. And at the end we can put it in this way. Alright. So select this polygons. So let's just insert it by individual polygons. Let's click OK. <coughs> Shuffle it up at inside. So select this and slightly we'll just extrude it inside from in this way. So that can be done. Push it inside. So we are going to create a low poly. So we don't need to go with very high end details. Make sure. So again I'll just on this just slightly just push it inside and again just shuffle it down make a copy so just make one one copies over here So that can be done in this way, how we can manage this uh, stuff that is important over here. Now the same way uh, we need to go over here, select this edges and let's give uh, two connects over here, I'll just make it as zero. So I'll leave some space, so this much is uh, I guess okay. So select this polygons, slightly give a bit of inset and extrude it inside the same way as we did it. Again just duplicate it. Let's just make a copy of it. So again select this. Again make a copy of it. These are all the assets what we are creating over here. Which is going to help. So let's again go over here. Let's create a box. Take auto grid. Let's select a box. Push this up. That one poly. Select the vertices. Let's put one swift loop. Select the polygons and extruded by local normal so select the vertices and extrude it a bit Side. 
all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so as you can see we are going to continue with few more parts for this for creating this game assets and the props so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so we'll continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial so thanks for watching this tutorial